haven't done a video in such a long time. I've got some time now, so I thought I'll uh, I'll put something together that's been in my mind for quite a long time, and um, I'm gonna try and do it in one take. It's it's hard for me. I'm still learning with this. I'm not uh, I'm not the most fluent with uh, with making videos and talking, and, but I'll try. And um, if I start rambling, and uh, just forgive me. Just stick with me. I think you'll get the idea that I'm trying to bring across. And um, today, like, I want to do a section on how I see this whole mental game that um, people talk about. If you if you have a bad day, a lot of times on an archery range, when you get um, off the, the range and you start talking to people, uh, you'll sometimes you'll hear the advice that people have for you and uh, which comes up sometimes or is uh, well quite a lot is like you know you need to work on your mental game or you know you need to do mental training um, whatever that means to you is uh, and then to me might be two different things you know so that's where a lot of the confusion comes in what does it mean does it mean I'm weak mentally because I've been I've been told that a couple of times when I've had a bad day like no your mental game let you down so then you know you think hmm, is my am I mentally weak what you know what is it what does this person mean uh, when they say that and a lot of times they're trying to help most most people are trying to help and um, so but anyway um, so I've been doing a lot of research on, on mental training and sports psychology, sports hypnosis, and um, this is how I see it. Okay, so um, before you start worrying about mental training, um, I want you to do the following. We'll do it step by step. If you follow me, I will help you through the process, and I can tell you that um, you will be better at the end of this well I hope so it helped for me um, so for now I want you to forget about mental training because if the, the number one thing in in being mentally strong is in archery and, and that's a lot of stuff life and but we're talking about archery now is confidence without confidence it doesn't help you you try and go do mental training Mental training won't, in my opinion now, I'm not a sports psychologist, let me just say this, but for me, it doesn't help to grow your confidence if, if you do mental training. That's a different subject. Um, especially, that's what I'm going to explain now, if there's something wrong in your whole structure, your, your shooting structure. So, for now, I'm going to tell you step by step, and I'm going to try and explain as we go, the reason behind this, and also that you have a broad understanding of my my um, train of thought. So, like I said, before you start worrying about anything else, your structure has to be has to be like I won't say perfect, but rigid and strong. So the best that you know the the best way I can explain this is uh, if you in your mind's eye, if you picture a chain, like you know being pulled tight, and then. With obviously with a bunch of links in this chain so you know say the first link in the chain is both set up uh, the second like the second link in the chain is uh, is bow tuning and then the third link is uh, practice the fourth is uh, strength you can go on and on you can and also this chain is dynamic and it's also individual so it's going to change for each person and it's going to change maybe day to day even or week to week because you're going to keep on adding um, like links to this chain for instance if you drive to the tournament and um, you know you have a fight with someone you you adding that link to that chain because it's going to affect you on that day it might be a strong link it might be a weak link and then so if if you can imagine also with on this chain you are standing at the top and you're holding it up and this chain is tight and if you follow it right to the bottom you will find a weight there and that weight represents your 
the tournament or the prize you know and it's uh the bigger the weight the more value you as a person puts on that tournament so if it's a shoot between you and your buddies it might be a bit of a lighter weight for some it might be huge but uh, most of the time it's going to be like just a fun day so it's going to be you want to win but it's not it's not kind of a life and death in your mind uh, if you go then to a regional tournament, it's that weight gets a bit um, gets a bit bigger, and then when you get to a national tournament, it, it gets even bigger, and the chain is pulled tighter, obviously because the weight is heavier, and then if you shoot for money, that chain is like so super tight, so you will understand that there's a weak link somewhere. It might be fine for the for the tournament between you and your buddies or a regional tournament. But once you get to the nationals, boop, the chain breaks. So that's the whole idea behind it. If you if you um, have a bad day, and then instead of thinking you have a, you, you should work on your mental game. You go back and you um, look at your like individual chain, and you think, well, where did it break? It might be. I didn't practice enough. You might know, but in, your, in the back of your head, you will know where it went wrong. And then you can go fix it. So there's a solution to this. It's not just go mental training. Um, if you had a bad flinch on the one time, you might have target panic. So you need to go and fix that link and then go work on it and then go back to, the, to, a, to another tournament and then carry on. It might, you know, and then like you go into that tournament and re repeat the process. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while for you to make your chain strong so that you can gain confidence. If you have a, like a, a weak chain and it keeps on breaking at the same place, obviously you're going to need to get maybe help. Um, a lot of times when your form is bad, um, if, it's, if, you sh if you're drawing it too short or too long, you're going to need to fix that before you, you carry on to the next tournament. And it's going to take time. It's trial and error. It's fine. Uh, we're not seeking for perfection. We're just seeking for progress. And then once you've got that sorted, your chain is strong. You'll see that your confidence will grow. And you'll be able to immediately point out where your weak links are and work on it. And that's, and that's going to give you progress. And then if you've got that fixed, I'm going to do another video shortly and then we can dive into the next step. See, this is step one. If you if you got the um, the will and and you know if you got the desire to improve, I think this will help you. And also, you can be creative with this. You can you can go make a like a like a notebook or buy a notebook, and then you can uh, write down your particular you know links in your chain, um, and then you can write down if you've had a bad tournament what your bad um, link was where the weak link was and then go work on it and you can you can draw up one um, after each tournament and then you can also reinforce if you've did well and then you can say look at your strong points just also note that it's not only about the weak weakness it's about what is your strong points i practice a lot i worked a lot um i my bow shoots brilliantly I worked on my side tape, if you should 3D or field or whatever. And then, you know, you can you can reinforce the good as well. So go try that and um, we'll do a video in the near future. Um, and then we'll dive a bit into this whole mental game um, rabbit hole. And we'll try to not make it a rabbit hole and, and we'll try to make it clear of uh, just to give you an example what we're gonna what we're gonna cover is why you get nervous and you know why it doesn't help to tell yourself to stay calm it, it doesn't work and um, we'll do some videos on how to make your bow forgiving in these uh, situations what kind of bows are more forgiving in these situations we'll dive a bit into this and uh, we'll try to keep it as simple as possible but yet informative and um, and hopefully it will help you as well to to raise your game and um, you know take you to the next level. 
and uh, thanks for watching and I will make another video soon and uh, thanks for the support and um, the interest appreciate it